Tabacal province. What can you tell us? Tabacal was once a major coffee producer, but over the last few years, Santa Blanca has forced the coffee growers to become cocoleros instead, growing leaf exclusively for the cartel. Who's our target? A cartel boss named Madra Coca. The cocoleros are terrified of her. Take a look at the video I just sent and you understand why. She runs Tabacal like her own mini cartel. Production of coca leaf, distribution by truck and train, and enough security to keep the cocoleros in line and the convoy secure. All of it run with ruthless efficiency. I'm in contact with a small group of rebels. They're willing to help us fight the cartel if we can prove our good intentions. You got any suggestions? Two things you can do to earn their trust. First, an old cocolero named Chavez has been trying to get the farmers to stand up to the cartel. Word is he's giving a speech to the cocoleros at the agricultural cooperative. Make contact with him there and keep him safe. What else? Supposedly, the cartel collects their coca in this province from a single farm. Ambush the cartel when they come for the coca. That should send a message to the cocoleros and disrupt Madra Coca's production. <laughs> Ruperta Faro, Madre Coca. They used to grow coffee here in Tabacal, but the cartels made them switch to coca. A lot more profitable. If you ever tried to snort Italian roast, you'll know why. Spoiler alert, this is frowned upon at coffee shops. Don't ask. Madre Coca grew up as a raspuccina, a coca picker. When it comes to illegal coca farms, there's no such thing as child labor laws. It was brutal, backbreaking work. She had a son whom she'd always dream would move on to better things. He didn't. Young Pablo died from a coke overdose. How does a mother who grows coca deal with growing the product that killed her own kid? Most people see the error of their ways and move on to something else. For Madra Coca, it was the exact opposite. She took out her anger on the people of Tabacal, forcing them to endure the same hardship she had experienced. And like any tyrant, she expanded her empire. This led to resentment from the people, which she dealt with. With the backing of El Yeyo, she became a very powerful woman in the cartel. A new twist on an age-old lesson. You know, fuck with mama. Alright, hello and welcome. I'm Kings, and we're back with some more Ghost Recon Wildlands. Alright, looks like we got a few new missions to do. And then we can go get some intel gathering. This one seems to be the closest one. Madre so we're going to go be doing this one. Every night to collect the coca leaf harvest at a local farm. Alright, this seems to be the place. So I'm going to get out. And, uh, of course... Recon, which is what it wants me to do. I want to get a little bit closer so I don't have to worry about my range. Drone is airborne. Looks like the Cocoleros are putting together a big shipment to hand over to the cartel. We've got an opportunity to take out Santa Blanca forces while they're around. Let's move. Okay, so uh, it wants me to kill everyone. I can do that. I'm good at that. Sweet. An actual mission that doesn't require me being stealthy. Tango marked. He's a little close to civilians. Okay, so I can be stealthy, you know. That way it's just easier to clear them out. Okay, so first it comes... First can be this guy right here. That's a kill. I could release the... Rebels. Wait, what? Are those guys taking off? Hmm. Oh well. I tried. Down. I want that guy to get out of that truck. I want him taking off. There we go. Okay. Who else wants to die? Huh. I wonder 
why I can't hit him. Usually when it's orange like that means I can hit him. Or I can see him a little. At least a little bit. Is there some type of wall or something? Yeah, there's a wall right here. Makes a little bit more sense. Who's shooting at me from this way? Oh, it's heavy. Hello, heavy. What the hell are you doing? Take cover. Eh, covers for pussies. Just going guns blazing. That's how I like it. That's how I do things. Tango down. Okay. Somebody up here? Where's he at? There he is. Another one coming up on me? Somewheres? Where's he at? There he is, way down there. Come on, buddy, stick your head up. I'm trying to kill you. Okay. There we go. Not very many left. Someone just blew up, I don't know what. Maybe we're a barrel, probably. Doo doo doo, heavy down there. Another guy right here. Is a heavy pushing up on me? Yeah, he is. Alright, missed a couple down there. I have to go back. Hostile killed. Alright. Let's go back and kill those last guys. Because my teammates clearly can't do it. Without my assistance. Alright, looks like they're sending in reinforcements. We got more tangos rolling up. Nah, I can kill them too. No big deal. Is there a guy right next to me? It says there's a guy like right here. That's a kill. Cartel won't get any coke from these guys anymore. Now we ex fill and wait for the fallout. All right, nice. So now we need to go do that next mission. I don't think there's any actual people in here. They're on alert. All right, we need to locate the rebel leader. So I'm just going to park right out here in the farm area and waltz right in. Coming up in the agricultural cooperative now. There's Chavez. He's probably about to make his big speech. More like a big middle finger to the cartel. The guy's got balls, I'll give him that. Let's see if we could talk some sense into him before this gets ugly. I got one I of doubt it, but metals here. Some Sicario is gonna miss. We can this. talk to him. See how things go. Gives out a lot of these. Who the monies are you? Did Madre Coca send you? Expecting trouble, senor? Oiga, you didn't answer my question. I'm a friend. I'm trying to keep you from making a big mistake. Mistake? Usted que sabe? Since when is helping my people a mistake? If you make the speech, people are gonna get killed. It's that simple. Madre Coco is going to send in her people and it's going to get bloody. So I should stay silent? That's your answer? Se equivoca. Then you are no better than Madre Coca. Get out of my way, gringo. I must speak with my people. This is Nomad. We're at the Agricultural Cooperative. Chavez blew up our warning. He's about to speak to the Cobaleros. The rebels say Chavez is the real deal. A true revolutionary. He's a dead man walking. The cartel is not going to let this slide. Do whatever it takes to keep Chavez alive. That'll show the rebels we're serious about stopping Madre Coca. On it. Okay, this is gonna go bad. Alright, uh, it's the most likely helmet gonna come in from the road. Uh, let's see if I can put some mines. Oops, that's not what I wanted. On the road while he does his little speech here. Placing a mine for our Sicario friends. Here comes the car. 
gonna try pulling on this side of the road over here if I can. It's already here. Boom! Let's put another one down. Wait, let me place a mine. Well, your speech lasted a whole, like, what, three seconds? <laughs> okay. Everyone Boom! Down. Get down. Oh, so getting killed. That's not my fault. That's not my fault, guy. Whatever. So far, so good. Unless you count that civilian dying, which was an accident, I swear. I wonder if I get some more ammo, I get some more mines. Because it seems to be working. Everyone on the ground, get down! You guys are already taking some hits because he's standing like an idiot. We're clear over here. God, these fuckers are sloppy. Right, let's put some more mines down, shall we? Well, I have five mines. I didn't know I had that many mines. It's crazy. Yo, placing a mine over here. Oh, coming in from this direction now. I should probably call in some reinforcements. I called the rebels for reinforcements. Cause this guy is being an idiot. I'm shooting these fuckers. And I could use all the backup I can get right now with this guy running around like a crazy man. What the fuck? That was a civilian dumbass. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. I swear. I didn't do it. He ran into it. Like a moron. Alright, teammate killed him. He's already at half health because he's been running around like a crazy man. And he's dying again. Dang it. How do civilians keep dying? That's really weird. There, mission complete. Jesus. I had to call in a ton of reinforcements because that guy was just running around like a crazy man. <sighs> know where the coca leaves are going and where they're being stored prior to transit. Roger that. We're on it. All right, on to the next mission. Pick up these supplies later. Okay, so our intel is right here in this kind of rundown area. So let's go and get our intel. It's a barn. It's a pretty large Back barn. It up. Okay, let's drone. Let's see where people are at. I'm guessing this guy over here is walking towards me. No? Okay. I don't see anybody though. Even though this place says there's tons of people here. Hey, and there's guys all over there, and of course that's one of those uh, medic choppers. I could probably shoot that guy, but I can't see him, so I'm not going to. Alright, can I see that sniper from here? Because he'll cause me some issues. No. Okay, let's take this guy down. That's a kill. Right. Can we not get up here? Darn it. Really? Do I have to go in the old fashioned way? The front door? Whew. Got that guy. Alright, let's move in this way. Can I not climb this? Okay. Alright, cool. So this is our intel drop. Got a schedule on coca shipments going out of the freight yard here in Tabacal. Who feels like getting their hands dirty? 
Alright, cool. Next intel drop, here we come. Alright, the next intel drop is up here on top of this mountain. Okay. And it looks to be in a Unidad location. Fantastic. <sighs> this can go very badly. Because the Unidad are douchebags. Alright, let's take the sniper out first. It's going to be my biggest issue. Unidad bird on patrol. Watch out. Of course there is. Because I'm right next to Unidad station. Er. Hit the dirt. Helicopter. Why can't I see this sniper? There he is. Sniper. Top of the tower. As soon as he stops moving. He's history. Oh, gotta go pro and the chopper still saw me. Son of a gun. Shit, we got a sniper. And of course he goes prone right when I look at him. Alright, looks like we're gonna be going guns blazing in here. Let's get this info first. Found some intel here on the movements of a cartel killer. If it's scaring to a guy like that, it might spread around. Okay, I need to get over here real quick. There's a guy behind me shooting the crap out of me. Alright, attack this and get the heck out of here. Before uh, the unit of patrol level goes up. Because if it's level 4, you're screwed. There's no way getting out of it. I've tried. Security team rides along with it. There's a name here. Salazar. Bowman. We're picking up chatter about a cartel lieutenant by the name of Salazar. You got anything on him? Ah, uh, yes. Jorge Salazar. Madracoca's baby boy. Say again? The story goes something like this. Salazar was 17 years old and working in the fields when Madracoca took over Tabacal. She took a liking to him from the start. Said he reminded her of her own son, who died when he was about Jorge's age. She offered Jorge a job. Jorge's father protested. So, she had the old man stuffed in the sack of tires and set him on fire. Jorge okay. Her adopted son and right-hand man ever since. Yeah. Salazar is probably the one person in the world Mother Coco really trusts. We grab him. It'll turn her world upside down. We'll see what we can do. Alright, cool. Let's see if there's any more Intel missions. Nope. Alright, cool. Then that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give me a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.